Pokemon Go just announced a brand new Team Rocket event that could lead to some of the rarest shiny Pokemon in all of Pokemon Go. Let's talk about it. To kick off this event, it is starting March 21st, 2023 at 10 a.m. And it goes until Wednesday, March 29th, 2023 until 8 p.m. local time. And one of the big things about this event is the fact that if you use your mystery box to encounter Meltan, it can be shiny. Now, this is just like Schmeargle, where it only comes around during special events and stuff like that where it can be shiny so use this opportunity while you can to try to get a shiny meltan and also appearing around the world globally will be pan sage pan seer and pan poor which all can be shiny now this is a great opportunity to get a regional shiny because they are super rare to have if you're not from that region and we have ditto spawning in the wild a lot more be on the lookout for these pokemon here diglett grimer snubble corefish starly rogan rolla time pole and litleo because ditto can be shiny but you won't know it's ditto until after you catch the pokemon which shiny ditto is one of the rarest pokemon in pokemon go so if you see any of these pokemon that it is transforming into be sure to catch those and see if it is a ditto and hope that it's a shiny event bonuses include reduced waiting time to open your mystery box which is for meltan double candy for transferring pokemon increased chance of finding extra extra small and extra extra large meltans increased chance of finding ditto disguised as other pokemon wild encounters will be diglett grimer snubble corfish darley pansage panseer pan Poor, Rogan Rolla, Time Pole, and Lit Leo. And if you're lucky, you can encounter a Trubbish, Galarian Stunfisk, and Gumi, which is literally every single Pokemon except for Gumi spawning in the wild for this event can be shiny. So this is going to be a really good shiny hunt event. Really looking forward to all of those. And for five star raids coming in this event, we will have Lugia. He will be appearing March 28th at 10 a.m. to Monday, April 10th at 10 a.m. But at the beginning of the event, we will have Incarnate Form Thunderous from March 21st at 10 a.m. until Tuesday, March 28th until 10 a.m. So beginning of the event, we will have Thunder spawning, and right at the very end, we will have Lugia coming back into the five-star raids. Same thing as the Mega Raids, we will have Mega Venusaur spawning at the very beginning of the event, March 21st from 10 a.m. to March 28th at 10 a.m. And at the very end of the event, we will have Mega Alakazam spawning from Tuesday, March 28th at 10 a.m. until April 10th at 10 a.m. Field Research Encounters will give you encounters with Pansage, Pan Seer and Panpour, which like I said before, some of the rare shinies because they are regionals. Try to get that field research while you can because you do have an increased chance of getting a shiny Pokemon from the field research itself. There will be a collection challenge during this event, which if you complete it, you will receive an encounter with the Melton and 5,000 XP. And we also just got an announcement that there will be free special research that will be available to trainers. And you will be able to claim this special research until the end of season 10 on June 1st, 2023 at 10 a.m local time which i believe if you just log in at any point whenever this event starts until june 1st you will have this special research and we all know about the five dollar ticketed time to research the willow's wardrobe challenge not really going to go too much into that and now we're getting into the really good stuff i know everything else sounded really good but this right here all this that i'm about to tell you guys is incredible so we have the team go rocket takeover starting march 25th at 10 a.m to wednesday march 29th at 8 p.m local time and we will have shadow reg ice this time and if i do give my opinion i'm not gonna do this one because i'm saving my rocket radars for an actual meta relevant legendary pokemon and reg ice just really isn't meta relevant and not worth the super rocket radar but if you want to do it by all means be my guest i won't be doing it though event bonuses team go rocket will appear more frequently at pokestops and in balloons and you can use a charge tm to help a shadow pokemon forget the charge move frustration which go through your pokedex now go through all your shadow pokemon the good ones you want to keep and tag them so that way you can go ahead and go through that tag and untm frustration from every single one of them because this only comes around every so often so make sure you get that done and now here's the really important thing shadow pokemon team go rocket grunts as well as their leaders sierra cliff and arlo are using different shadow pokemon which means the leaders are about to get brand new shiny pokemon that can be shiny so if you haven't gotten your shadow shiny from the leaders yet you only have a short amount of time to get them now that shadow beldum you need it and these are some of the new shadow pokemon that you will be able to encounter a lowland grimer fanfi trico torchic and drifloon no idea what the actual leaders are gonna have we will find that out later but the big thing pokemon that trainers rescue from team go rocket grunts may be shiny if you're lucky don't know the odds but that is absolutely huge because before you could only get the shiny pokemon from the leaders themselves now i believe it only lasts during this event but now you can get them from the grunts so grind those team rockets throughout 
throughout the entire Tingo Rocket takeover because these shadow Pokemon, if you get them from grunts or anything else, are going to be some of the rarest shiny Pokemon in the entire game. And the 12k eggs, we will be having Larvitar, Abzol, Skroopy, Sandile, Scraggy, Ponyard, Lullaby, Dino, Panjam, Skrelp, and Salandit, which honestly, I don't think anything is new here. Either way, nothing too exciting from the 12ks. I don't think they're really worth it in my opinion. And we will also be getting field research that award mysterious components, so that's awesome. Get you some Team Go Rocket leader encounters faster than having to do all the Team Go Rocket battles, which you should still be doing those anyway, since the shadow Pokemon from the grunts can be shiny. But yeah, guys, that's the news I got for y'all. This is super exciting. Can't wait for this event, honestly. It's gonna be an amazing one. Some super good shiny hunts, some super good Pokemon spawning, some really rare Pokemon spawning, and the fact that there are new shadow shiny Pokemon and the grunts can have shadow shinies as well. Absolutely just blows my mind. Can't wait for this event to start. Let me know what you guys think in the comments. Let me know what you guys are, will be hunting in the comments as well. I appreciate y'all if you made it this far in the video and be sure to like, comment, subscribe, all those good things. And I will catch you guys in the next one. Peace.